Yeah. I mean, there'll be a little hole in the chair, okay? <sighs> Sad to listen to. What is up, guys? Welcome to the Dig Train Podcast, where today we're hoping you times it by two. I'm here with my co host, B Griff, Dust Sniff. What's guys? Big Griff, Snip. Uh, I make Beer Boys music. And I'm also in a few songs alongside uh, Ashley Sydney. So he is most famously known for his uh, YouTube video, uh, which hit 1K views as uh, Wheels on the Bus Reaction. And oh my God, did that get me hard? That was just, that was excellent, bro. To it was, um, it was sort of like, imagine you have a cat, and then you get the cat's fur, and then you put it in a like a little, um, like a pure, like a Pete's Ridge bottle. And what you do is, you get some mustard and you mix it in, yeah. But yeah, what you yeah. do is, um, when you have like the cat, right, and the cat's fur, to be like ethical, you just grab um a seven point five point eight razor, oh, so the cat, oh, yeah. the cat oh, yeah. so the cat doesn't feel. Then you get the cat fur, you put it in the bottle with the mustard, right, and then um, this the thing about mustard, right, is it actually comes from a. Uh, cat's bum hole. That's how they make it. So they get. Um, you know about that? Well, you know, I see. It's like, I know about that. But you, you see this right here. This. Yeah. Now this. This is something very like interesting about this. For you viewers at home, you may not know this. This right here. It actually comes from uh, koalas, right? So what happens is the koalas. Uh, uh, sorry for the inconvenience, you just choked on his water. Is, is everything okay? You've been COVID tested, of course. Yeah. Yes. Right, because if, if you haven't, if you haven't then you're going to go in and get it now. All right. So anyways, back to my story. Uh, so this is actually a part of the koala's esophagus. So what happens is when they hunt their prey, okay, this is the prey digest into it. And boom! Straight out. So that's a cool story, but let's get into the real facts today. So we've got a question here on Twitter from Billy Ray Cyrus. It says, how many fingers can you fit up your bum hole a day? Now, Brody, I know you. We, we know you. We know you, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of things to unpack in this question. First of all, how? Um, so the word how actually originates from your mum's dog. So your mum's dog, right? It's really fat. Oh, so yeah. if, oh, you, if you if you times by seven, you're gonna get maybe eleven to twelve. So that's really gonna equate to something sort of a bit strange. Yeah. For example, <laughs> for example, this head of this lap, uh, Apple uh, phone uh-huh. charger. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so um, Billy Ray Cyrus. Uh, obviously, I know who that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's your cat. Um, yes. a strange that your cat can type on Twitter, but uh, well, yeah, that's pretty well. cool. So, but to actually answer the question of how many fingers I can fit on my bum hole, Billy Ray Cyrus, or Diego's cat, um, it really depends on what kind of mustard I'm feeling that day. Yeah. If yeah. the if the mustard is seven, then it's got to be at least thirteen point eight times ten fingers. Well, well, you see, I was thinking of the same analogy. So, so let's picture. Let's picture I don't know. Let's put it into perspective. Okay. Okay. So you picture a chair. Okay. Okay. You're sitting yeah. on the chair. <laughs> Right. right. Think of how many how fingers many could fingers be on that chair. That, chair. that could easily yeah. be up your bum. So let's say there was seven. seven. You times it by two, two. It's 14. fourteen. You put it together. Put fourteen, 14 fingers, fingers up in your bum. In your bum. <sighs> See Billy Ray. So, so that so it that wouldn't be that. You know, it wouldn't uh, be that wouldn't hard be that to fit hard fourteen, fourteen. I think a day. But I honestly have never tried it. So for any of you viewers at home, feel free leave a comment. Uh, how many uh, fingers how you've many left in your bum hole, bum hole per day? Because I, I know it, it may not be the most normal thing, but look at the cats and koalas, mate. They're, they're lovely people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're lovely guys when you meet them in, at the local chicken run and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, just they just have good families. families. Like, they're just like, fucking yeah. fit. Like, it's, like just, it's just. No, there's nothing else. Yeah. There's nothing more so, to do, Yeah, so Billy Ray Cyrus, to answer your question, about 13.8 ish fingers up your bum daily. Daily, though. To answer your question. <laughs> At least, at least 14, 14 and a quarter. At least. Ah, right, so but, you got a bit but, more than me. You got about, I don't know, 0. 0.8. <laughs> I saw, dude. I saw, dude. <laughs> now, uh, oh, moving on to the next on topic. To the, next topic. The, the thing is, Brody, I've always I've had always this little had stigma, stigma around you. I love the way you look. So please tell me, <laughs> you've got to be on a handsome man list somewhere. Just somewhere. Oh, I think I saw one. Um, It was... Oh, 
What was the channel name again? I think you told me about it. I think was I Young know D? what you're talking about. <laughs> yes. yes. Let's go I on Young Guys. Uh, a lot of male celebrities, including myself, and um, did a, uh, a synopsis of who's the top 10 hen- most handsome men in the world. Yeah. And uh, I was like, surely I'm not on there. Mm-hmm. But... Um, Turns out I was on there. I'm not going to give away what number I am, but let's let's give yes, a reaction let's check it to out, it. Right? Should we check it out? Let's just check it out, ladies check and gentlemen. Check it out. All right, let's check it out. Here we go. I was getting the video up. Yeah, go. Yeah. Well, I was just getting the video up. Um, you know Rocket League. You know the the balls in Rocket League. Oh yep yep yep. Of course. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I actually uh, they're about three meters in diameter. I have a real life one from the original game. Yeah. And I put that up my bum last night. Oh, did you? Oh, did you? If you didn't, if you didn't notice, yeah. <laughs> oh no, I didn't notice at all. But that, that's awesome that, that you're opening up about that stuff. That's, that's, that's shut up. All right, let's watch this video. Shut up. All right, let's watch this video. All right, kill yourself. Come on, you can do it now. All right, let's watch the video. Oh wait, Diego, Diego, fight alarm. Fight alarm? No way. We no way. We have our first. Hold on. Let me stop sharing the screen. Hold on. We got our first fight alarm. Oh no. Here we go. This, this can't be real. Where's the final one? Oh my god. This, this is just unbelievable. Final one. Where, do, you, do you have the final one up? Alarm. I'll get it for you, mate. No, no dramas. Here we go. The final one is going. It's brewing up. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The final one. Oh, the fucking final one. It didn't even work. So, back to the video where the top back 10 to handsome men of all time top 10 handsome will be played. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Got it up on the screen shows. now. Okay. Would you believe? That this man sitting right in front of me is on this list. Let's see, let's see what number I am. Here we go. Oh, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, so before you watch, your mum smells like a $17 sandwich from Mustard Art. <laughs> but even I'm more handsome th- than him, you know. Ah, uh, Paul Schneider, he's so lovely. Mark Brandano, it's yeah. from... Um, <laughs> Parks and Recreation, Rob Patterson, Rob Patterson. Batman. I'm oh, pretty so sure that's what most of your, the viewers' mums look, like, look like, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Drew. Uh, you look like Paul Rudd because you're short like Paul Rudd. Oh. And I look like Chris oh. Hemsworth. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I look like Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson and you look like Rebel Wilson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Dwayne He's not the most handsome guy, so you wouldn't expect to see him on this list. You wouldn't expect to see him on this list. Yeah, yeah, true. Oh. And Ronaldo as well, like, you know? And Ronaldo as well. Yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah, he's very handsome. You'd expect that. Jason, Jason Momoa. Momoa. Jason Momoa. My, my Jason he put like his girl, entire you know, whole like finger up my girl, bum. You know? David, yeah. Be- this guy's fucking David 50 years old. Just go do another fucking movie like, like fucking Bend It Like Beckham. Like fucking Bend It Like Beckham. Yeah, I guess he was in that film, so... Oh, oh, that's me! Oh, oh God. God! No <laughs> way! No, no, no. Yes, no. Oh, yeah. no way! Oh, my God. Now for the handsomest. Oh, my oh, God. It's me. You, what do you expect? <laughs> it's me. What do you expect? Oh, my God. No way. No way. Oh, my God, no. baby. The lightning almost has a G. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. No, that's... No, that's... That's insane. That calls for a robot, guys. That... Oh, okay, guys. So that you know. Before I ask you the question, I want to ask myself. Oh, Steve, how does it feel to be number two most handsome man in the world? People always ask me all the time. So I like to think like, if I was the most handsome man in the world, what would I do? You asking me that question? <laughs> Sorry guys, just difficulties. Um, what would I do? Um, well, you know, I'd go around the world to all the hottest models, the hottest brothels around town. Around yeah, yeah. Like, Wait, I know you, I recognise you. I'd be like, oh, do you? Well, where? You're the second most handsome man in the world. And you know what? Oh, that's chicken just, nuggets. That's just like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> that just lets everyone else in the building know. That I'm the fuck, yeah. yeah. And I look like Whoa. I, yeah. I look like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I look like fucking. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> you look like I who? look like fucking look Santa like Claus fucking and all these other fucking pussies, other in pussies in the club. <laughs> I look like freaking The Rock Johnson. Well, he's number five. I'm number fucking two. 
So you know what I'm saying, but yeah, as Vedi, as Vedi too. I like to stay humble, you know. I like yeah. that's why I'm laughing a lot because I just like to say I'm humbled. I'm just happy, happy man. Yeah. You know? But on to you. Uh, how does it feel to be gay? <laughs> oh well, since I am the first, no- uh, most number one handsome man in the world, that means that, right? I get to go to the koala zoo up in Koalaville on the koala planet, right? And have sex with them. Now listen, this is not really what I want to do, but what I want to do is grab a pen, stab you in the neck, puncture your lungs, and cause internal bleeding. To, to me. To, to me. Yeah. <sighs> this is what I want to do to you, okay? So I know it's off the podcast and I do this because I love it, right? Yeah. So, you know, I don't mean any harm to you, but let me go James Holmes on you. Fuck that shooter. Is that a little too soon? Maybe. So. We got a question. We got a question. From. We have a question. We have a question. We have a question. Who's it from? Who's it from? Who's it from? Well, you're going to have to find out. The question is from Manny C. Gamer. He says... How many times does it take for 50 penises to enlarge into your nostrils? Now, this is a thing, right? This is hard because... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially during the winter time, boys know the penis just goes small like a shrimp. Yeah. My missus, yeah. fucking Kylie Jenner, she, she always complains. She's like, mate, in the winter time, don't talk to me. We're divorced. Every other time, yeah. the penis is fucking huge, nine inches. It's fine. But, you know... Um, on on back to the topic. To the I topic. think it'll take like. I think it'll take like. What the fuck you doing, bro? <laughs> Did you hear it? <laughs> no, you got a fart alarm, bro. Have some respect for the. Oh podcast. damn! I didn't have the fart alarm. We will get the fart alarm next time. Yeah, we'll get the fart alarm yeah. next time, bro. Anyway, oh wait, there's something in the songs request channel. Hold on, what's going on here? Rain is a good thing by Luke Bryan. Okay, let's. We're gonna hear this song. We're gonna hear this song. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go to this song request, then we'll be back. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Oh, we've got people in the question room after this song. Oh, beautiful. That's just, beautiful. just what we want on the podcast, don't we, guys? People yeah. in the question. Yeah, love it, love it. Love. Sorry, let me just let me just pause this. Do you know what this song reminds me of, Brody? Brody. What, mate? This song reminds me of a, a good old time. Hold on, let me just uh, let me just get back into the. This, this reminds me of a good old time, you know. So I was cruising down the roads, right? Cruising. <laughs> yeah. At least 10 under the speed limit, right? What happens is some fucking idiot <laughs> who's parachuting jumps on top of my car. Right? Well, jumps on top, leaves a dent. And I get out. Yeah. Listen to out. this. This is, I get out. I say, hey, what the fuck do you think you're doing, Dark Knight Shooter? What's wrong with you? So yeah. what I do is, what I, do I, grab maybe. A, I, gra- I grab a gun, right? I grab one of my many guns. I grab it and I put it to his face and I don't shoot him but what I do is I tell him I say hey listen you better pay for these dents otherwise this gun will be in your mum alright regardless of that he ended up paying for it and it was all fine but funny thing is two days later he got hit by a fucking bus and passed away (laughs) now I know we like to waffle a lot, but that story just had to be told. So, we yeah. got some questions. We've got some people in the question room. They're going to come in now. Yeah. Come in now. They're going to tell us their experiences. Okay. So, yeah. here we got so here Comedy we Shorts, Shorts Gamer. Game, gamer. Believe yeah. it or not. Believe we got Comedy Shorts Gamer. He's coming. He's coming in the question room now. He's doing it. Here we go. All right. Move to podcast room. Get in here. Welcome, Comedy, comedy Shorts, Shorts oh. Gamer. Comedy, Comedy Shorts, Shorts Gamer. Welcome. Welcome. Oh. Oh my goodness. What is this sound coming from your mouth and eye? Oh. You're lagging so super hard. Hold on one second. Super hard. Hold on one second. Oh. Comedy Shorts. What is, what is this alien noise coming from your microphone? Listen, Listen buddy. buddy. Oh, I can't bear with this. Get, 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 get,
That was hell. Um, nothing else to talk about, really, is there? I just, I just, I, I, yeah. You know, one of the, one of the. The main things I want to talk about really is um, yeah. Ah, it's a it's a bit it, it's a bit it's a bit hard for me to um open up about this. So um, so I hope you guys can understand. But basically, um, a couple months back, you know, my um my my religion teacher, he uh he he did something to me, and boy did I not like it. What the fucking hell? It's fucking oh, Spider Man doing? doing? Anyways, sorry about Pac Man. Now, I was very, you know, upset because I come to school to learn. You know, it's religion, it's teachers' love and, you know, yeah. ki kissing your mum and your kissing mom, your neighbor's mum and all that. Mom, yeah. Right? On the penis, on the penis. Yes, yes. yes. So, I, I go into class and, you know, I'm sitting on a chair. Now, if you don't know, if you're not from uh, Australasia, for like myself, from Australia, um, in the peanut butter jars, okay? So you put your finger... <laughs> Every day for summer, um, he, he would... I would sit on the chair, and there would be a little hole in the chair, okay? Sad to listen to. Anyways, <laughs> there'd be a little hole in the chair, and <laughs> it's too sad. I think if that's a laugh, that's, that's just fuck. <laughs> that's just no, that's just rude. No, that's just Regardless, rude. anyways, I'm still telling the story, okay? So I just I envision this teacher. He's a nice guy. He plays basketball. He's cool. Basketball, he's cool. Fucking, he like smokes weed. He looks, weird, looks like a fucking idiot. Like fucking anyway, yeah, yeah, right. There's these little, little holes in the chair, like, in the chair that, like that. Believe it or not, like who would put that there? Yeah. And um, in, um right, anyways, anyways, I, I just, oh, I just, I wanna. Saraj wants to be on mute. Oh, oh we got, we got, we got. Uh, Comedy shots, gamer. Are they fucking muted? Oh my god! Can you tell him? Can you tell him his mic's fucked in the chat? Your mic is fucked, mate. Yeah, bro. It's alright. Your mic's fucked. We can't. Right, yeah. Anyways, back to my story. Oh, we're in. Anyways. All right. I've got one of my witnesses in here for the story. Hello. Hi, mate. Our Hello. Guest. Who's this? Oh. Hello. Hi. Hi. Now. Oh, hey. Is this Hooligan Hefs? Hooligan. Hooligan. Okay, now, okay, we're, now we're, we're just talking we're just about talking the story about of me and religion. I know you know it. I know, bro. I know, bro. This, this is really hard for me really to open up to, so I'd appreciate, appreciate if no one laughs. Okay? No one laughs. The, the, this is the thing. So, you know, there's these little holes in the chairs, I've said about 400 times. And my religion teacher, we'd, we'd always be a bit on edge with him. He'd come around the back, we'd feel it, we'd feel it go boom, straight up. And I'd be like, up, and, I'd, <laughs> and I thought it was my friend Dom. I thought it was him, but he goes. Oh man. no way! One day I see him do it to Dom, and I look at him. I'm like, mate, that is disgusting. And guess what? The what? best part, the about, best part it about it is I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed, I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed it. That's not bad. It. But but regardless of if I enjoyed it, it's still sad to open up about. I do it because I love it. Okay. So yeah, you know, even if I may be, you know, a bit jittery, it's because I'm hiding my emotions about it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, it's you're not. You're not right. You're and right. And it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. You know. And yeah. I'm so mate, shut up. Mate, yeah. Also, continue on. Yeah. So. so yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just like. It's just like. If he does it again, does it again, there will be consequences. Anyway, shut the fuck up, Anthony. You're here. You're the spotlight. Let's talk to you. Answer one. Tell us one of your questions that you. What's your question? I just want to know when the next uh, Beer Boys tour is happening. Great question. Maybe you should ask your mum. Go home and kill yourself. Pretty much. The Beer Boys tour... We're not going to tell you when it's going to happen. And here's why. Because all the ladies know when it's going to happen. And we don't bow down to no jocks and let these jocks come <clears throat> to these tours of ours. So don't <laughs> make me go with James Holmes on you. Dark Knight Shooter. <laughs> Is that a little bit too soon? Maybe. 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 But, the reason being, if ladies know when it's going to come, and you don't know when it's going to happen, 
then we don't want you to come. Because Beer Boys, there is already enough boys in the Beer Boys for the ladies. So we just want ladies coming to this Beer Boys tour. If you don't know what it is, then obviously we don't want you to come. Because we tell these ladies to come, right? And we say, don't tell anyone except for your female friends. And they say, righto, I'll get all James Holmes on you. Yes. I say, thank you for listening. And then they say to their boyfriends when they ask, when is the Beer Boys tour? They say, you look like you got in the fight with the Bible. And their boyfriends reply with, you look like you got in the fight with the blunt side of an axe. Then H. Murray comes along, and he might hide 2Ks that way, but he'll snipe you straight and direct, and you'll know when he hits the boyfriend when he hits the ground. You know, let me add on to that, because you know I think it's fair that he gets a, you know, Response from both of the beer boys. Here we go. So the next tour is um, one of these things you got to you know take into consideration is uh you know your mum. She may be a lovely woman. She may be you know she... your mum. Okay, so she, she may, may be lovely, lovely and all, and all that, but listen, that's not about it. This is what's about it. If you got the pipe and I got the strap and I put it to your face, <laughs> what's going to happen is. It's going to do it, okay? So, on terms of the tour, probably tomorrow night, <laughs> I'd say he's on the next tour. Um, yeah, just, that's all I can say, really. Um, my name's Ezzy. I'm a fucking idiot. Um, so, pretty much, thanks for the question. Really appreciate it. Yes, of course. Thank you very much. And, uh, listen, listen, ladies and gentlemen, this is... All the time we have for today, as yeah. as Diego has to go and do something, and he's ruining it for everyone else because he has to go and do something. I'm sorry, guys. I'm taking my dog to his funeral. I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, wow. I don't care. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>